Good evening everybody! Today we're back with another trip to Buckethead Land for Buckethead's 94th Pike album, Magic Lantern. So, let's begin! Woo! Released November 27, 2014, Pipe 94 was the third of four albums released that month alone, with the five-track album kicking off with its title track, Magic Lantern. The song immediately locks you in with a fantastic riff that's utilised effectively throughout the track, intertwined with some crazy shred guitar sequences and the occasional kill switchery. It does go slightly too long towards the end, but still a solid opening track, classic riff and one that will surely get your head banging. To Chess Roof again kicks off with a solid riff and really gets into gear around the 87 mark with an outstanding lift that thankfully it revisits later on in the track. Solid song. is the album's longest track, the 10 minute first corridor. A funk jam the first three minutes toll on a fairly unremarkable riff before picking up somewhat towards the middle and then losing its momentum nearer the end. There's some nice moments sprinkled throughout but overall this feels more of a throwaway jam. One that would be revisited with far more focus one month later on Pipe 99 Polar Trench. Track 4 we go from the longest track to the shortest, with Wind From Where, and in all honesty it's an extra 4 minutes of the same thing we've just heard in the previous track, just slightly better. The track does hit a really nice section around the 2.5 minute mark that should have been explored more, but unfortunately is soon thrown aside. concludes with the five minute Land of the Lanterns and it's a completely different shift in tone to anything played previous. A slow crawl ballad that despite feeling out of place on the album is a welcome addition and even though it might not reach fourth or fifth gear it's an enjoyable listen and a good song to end with. Overall, Pike 94 isn't one of the better flowing Pike albums. The first two tracks lead with some outstanding riffs, the following two tracks are funk jams that Buckethead has done multiple times before, but better, with the final track being an enjoyable crawl. It's certainly not a bad album, it's okay, but it's not one that I revisit often, and is far better suited throwing tracks 1, 2 and 5 in with other Pike songs and setting your iPod to shuffle. After adding up the rating I gave for each track, it came to exactly 62%, which I categorise as good, just slightly above average. 
You can find my individual song ratings and breakdown on our website natanet.com. So what's your rating for Pipe 94?